So if you know anyone that is going through chronic disease or you yourself is suffering from chronic disease, one of the first areas that I address with all my patients is their gut health. And one of the best ways to assess and identify root causes to a lot of chronic diseases is by doing a comprehensive stool test. And in this video, I'll talk about sort of why everyone should be doing a comprehensive stool test and how to use it to identify and address sort of the problems that is causing the issues in people's bodies. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Jason Yuan, and on this channel, I talk to you about the science and evidence of integrative medicine to help you live a happier, healthier life. So the gut microbiome has so much research going on nowadays, right? As we know, your gut or your digestive system has so many different functions besides just digesting and absorbing your food. The gut microbiome is this collection of different microbial organisms that help influence your health in a positive way or in a negative way. And based on the composition of this gut microbiome, this can heavily steer your health in one direction or another direction. So this is why I recommend for a lot of patients, especially dealing with chronic disease on a day-to-day -day basis, to find out exactly what is happening inside of their gut. And there's a great saying where, you know, many diseases come from and emerge from the gut. And this is true for various reasons, because when we don't understand some of these, you know, root causes to a lot of conditions, and especially with myself coming from the root cause of eczema or uh, an inflammatory skin condition, this is where we have to look at the gut as more than just one single system. The gut is connected to so many different areas in your body. It is connected to, again, your skin. It is connected to your immune system. It is connected to your autonomic nervous system, right, which is the sympathetic and parasympathetic responses. It is connected to your um, other aspects in terms of detoxification pathways, elimination pathways. So as you can sort of tell, the gut is so important for so many different reasons. And because it is such a foundation to health, I highly recommend whether you're going through chronic disease or not, getting a comprehensive stool test is one of the best ways to, again, identify if there's any potential causes that is shifting your health. And when I say causes, this is what I mean by dysbiosis. So dysbiosis is basically a fancy word that is telling us that there is an imbalance in these microbial organisms. So not only does your gut house houses billions and trillions of, of different cells and bacteria and organisms, some of these organisms can include bad bacteria, parasites, worm, yeast, fungi, such as candida, and also um, other sort of things that we don't want to have in the gut, right? So if you have these present and you're not aware of it, this can be causing long-term lingering symptoms to emerge. And again, we want to remove these factors that is causing the issue. And another reason, again, to get the stool test is to assess your digestive health markers, right? So a lot of people have what's called hypochlorhydria, which is one of the symptoms of having certain bad bacteria in your gut. And hypochlorhydria is basically uh, maldigestion due to having low stomach acids or deficiency in certain pancreatic enzymes, all of which helps your body break down and absorb nutrients to absorb your food. And if you are not absorbing and breaking down your food, again, that is another big bottleneck towards your health and healing, okay? So I, I recommend a certain stool test because we want to look at all these different factors, all these different areas, and to see what is exactly going on. Now, like your digestive health markers, right, there are also other good aspects that this stool test will help us show. I talked about having the dysbiosis, which is the imbalance in having bad bacteria, but there's also the good bacteria you want to have in your system, 
right? And this is where we think about probiotics, which is basically these beneficial bacteria in your gut flora that produces postbiotics, which are products that have healthy beneficial effects for your gut. Now, when you do a stool test, you can actually figure out the proportion and the quantity of good bacteria in your gut. And it's very helpful to know if you are deficient in a certain gut bacteria, you want to take a probiotic with that strain to supplement it, right? To support it. Otherwise, if you don't, you're kind of, again, shooting in the dark and, and trying to guess what you have and what you don't have, which again, for most people, that's fine. But if, especially if you're suffering from any chronic disease, and in my case, which was eczema, it was very helpful to know which bacteria they had and whether it was good or bad, but especially the good ones, right? Because the good bacteria, for example, uh, a strain called Acromantia mucinophilia, which is highly correlated to having intestinal permeability or another word called leaky gut. So Acromantia produces certain compounds that helps maintain the gut integrity, the gut lining. And when you're deficient or low in acromancia, this is where you start to have the leaky gut because you don't have sort of the builders in the background supporting and maintaining your gut wall, your gut lining. And so these types of people with low acromancia are susceptible to having intestinal permeability, leaky gut, which is basically where you have the phenomenon where certain food proteins and other things leak outside of the gut lining and enter the bloodstream, which causes more problems down the road because you know, it causes, creates inflammation because your immune system starts targeting certain things that it thinks it's foreign and harmful to the body when it's not. So the gut is connected to so many different chronic illnesses, like I've mentioned. So not only skin conditions like myself um, and others, autoimmune conditions, right? If you have, um, pain anywhere in the body, if you have any mood disorders, just because the gut is the biggest producer of serotonin in the body, about 90%. So really the gut and the gut microbiome is such an immense important factor in foundation to health. And this is why I highly recommend everyone to do your due diligence, look this up, do your research, of course. And also, if you have the ability to do a comprehensive stool test because of all the factors that I've outlined, it will really, really give you a great idea of where your health stands. And if everything happens to be great and normal, you have already just eliminated in a good way, a potential area that is not causing the issue. And for most people, again, the root causes of many conditions come from the gut and the imbalance in the microbiome, dysbiosis, digestive health markers, right? The immune system, as I mentioned. And again, all of this is part of how I practice and many, you know, practitioners practice integrative medicine, where we look at the body beyond just one single system and look at the body as a whole person, right? Because every system is communicating with each other. Every system is giving us signs and clues where the dysfunction and the imbalance is. So again, in my case, after doing the stool test, I was able to identify sort of the root causes in terms of having the dysbiosis, different sort of bad gut bacteria being very high, certain digestive markers being low, and of course, taking the right steps, taking personalized, individualized steps to correct it. Because again, every patient that has eczema will have a different gut profile, most likely. It's very similar, but a little bit different. So every person that has, you know, the same, let's say, rheumatoid arthritis, even though the profiles are generally about the same, there might be one or two differences here and there. So this is why doing this comprehensive stool test is an example of precision medicine, which means we are able to address very specifically the areas of dysfunction and imbalance in your body specifically. And you are not just a number, you know, uh, patient number 899 with rheumatoid arthritis, right? We try to, again, address the root cause through lifestyle factors, 
right? Through exercise, diet, nutrition, sleep, but also sort of supplements to kind of heal the gut and maintain it, such as probiotics, prebiotics, and other essential nutrients to kind of support a healthy gut microbiome. So again, in this video, I talk about the importance of assessing your gut health and why the gut has been called the progenitor of many diseases because it is connected to so many different aspects in your body. And if you're interested in a consultation and perhaps getting one of these stool tests, I provide it myself as a provider, and I'm more than happy to speak with you further if you are interested. So that's all for the video today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, I would highly appreciate a like. And if you really love this video, I would appreciate a subscription as the goal of this channel is to build a community of enthusiastic health supporters that are looking to build a happier, healthier life. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next.